For me, it started when I was in high school. Uh, I noticed that all mathematical formula and theorem they were named after people from the, the global north. Mm -hmm. And asked myself the following question, does that mean our grandparents did nothing in mathematics? <laughs> and uh, for me, it was not only to go to school, get a degree or do research. I told myself I'm going to make impact so that before I die, people from the north will also use theorems that are named after a guy from Africa. So uh, when I finished my uh, degree in Cameroon, I moved to South Africa. Uh, I was doing applied mathematics. And we noticed that when we go to the field, we collect some data. Uh, uh, we want to model the, 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 the specific real field uh, problem that we observe. We use the, the, the Newton derivative. And we notice that there is a deviation between experimental data and our model. So the question that we have to ask ourselves is, what is the problem? Does that mean my data are uncertain or my mathematical model is not valid? So we notice that the mathematical model has some limitation because in general what is happening is that uh, God gave us the power to control our environment. And to control our environment, we first of all observe it after the observation, we analyze uh, the data that we collect, then we do the model. After we do the model, if there is a connection between, or agreement between the mathematical model and the data that we collected, then we can go and do the prediction. Or for example, if I give you an example, when we had pro, uh, COVID problem in, in, in the world, what is the problem? We need to know what will happen in the next uh, three days, four days, one month. So we need the mathematical model that is actually accurate to tell us that in 20 days we are going to have three people that will die. So uh, uh, with uh, the Newton derivative we have this uh, problem that there is no whole way an agreement between our model and the mathematical uh, and the data. So in 2016 uh, I created a new operator uh, that is a derivative and another one you know when you have a derivative you must create an integral for you to form what they call calculus. So that derivative was named after me in the integral. So it's been used to model process, as uh, Prof was speaking, you know, modeling uh, the spray of disease. You can model the, the, the movement of uh, water. You can mo uh, model the, the decay of a human. You can actually model almost everything that you think, you think of. And uh, that is uh, what uh, uh, I contributed in mathematics. Besides that, uh, 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 it is good to recognize that nature is created by God and that mathematics is created by human beings. So mathematicians sometimes they are very arrogant when they introduce an operator, they think that that operator can solve all the problems. It is wrong because nature is very complex. So later on I introduce another operator, they call it fractal fractional because I notice that uh, the one that I introduce can solve some problem, but there are other problems that they cannot solve. So I cannot break it down now. So uh, I, I did several of such type of operator, and uh, uh, around it, uh, it made me to become editor in many journals. It made me to get some awards, like the UNESCO award that I got uh, last time. And uh, I graduated already 11 PhD since 2015. And uh, I don't know many, many masters, I don't remember the number. <laughs> and uh, I wrote also uh, 11 books and uh, many papers. So that is what I'm doing. Thank you.